Well, it might be a really nice sunny day, but that wind's back. I've just spent a couple of days away from site. We'd got work to do somewhere else, so we thought we'd give this place a break for a few days. But now we've come back, we've noticed one or two problems. One of the problems we've had is, because we've been away for three or four days, as you probably noticed, we haven't been putting any videos on, that wind's got back up. And we've got a container garden outside this caravan. And we've got some quite tall plants in there. We've got containers full of runner beans. We've got tomato plants as well. The wind has been knocking them over. But it's not only knocked a container of the runner beans over, it's actually knocked it over onto a sweet corn and flattened nearly all plants. So that's a bit of a pain. It's the thing about Lincolnshire. The wind can be very persistent when it kicks in. There's not a deal you can do about it. But worse than that, we've got a tomato plant and it's got quite a few tomatoes on it and it's snapped the entire main stem. So that plant's done. We can, however, ripen those tomatoes off that plant. So we'll be able to save a few out of it. And there was quite a few other pots that were just laid on the side. We've stood all those back up and done what we can with them for the moment. But I'm hoping this wind's gonna pass quite soon. But something else that's even more important is because I do this maintenance job on this site, I need that ride on mower. It's too big a site to go around with a push mower. Fortunately, that mower's not working anymore. It starts and it drives, but when you try and engage the cutting deck, nothing happens. And I've done everything that I can think of to try and get it to work, but it's not having it. So basically that's gonna now have to go away for a repair and it could take a week. And meanwhile, the site's gonna start and get a little bit overgrown, except it won't because I'm gonna do the entire site with that push mower. I'm gonna have to do anything that I can to keep that grass down. So I've been up early this morning and we've been cutting that grass back with that push mower. And I'm getting quite a lot done. But once we've done that, we've then got to go around with strimmer and make it all nice and neat. So the sooner that ride on mower's fixed, the better. So they're only tools that we've got now. And it is a very big area to be cutting with just those. But we've made a start on this area. It does cut it a lot lower than what the ride-on does. I know the ride-on's adjustable, but if you're not careful, you can hit bumps. Then you just start ripping grass up, so we have to set it slightly higher. Basically, when you've done it with that push mower, you get a really good finish. But it's not only that bit that we've got to cut. And it goes right down to that white building. And then to the right of that building, you've also got the pub. So all that grass has got to be cut as well, which I've done this morning. I have been up and down this part as well. You can see once again that that grass looks really neat now. But in between, We've also got that. So three different sections of grass and we've got grass in between the vans as well. So that is gonna be a few days hard work to get done. And then we have to go round with that strimmer round all these vans and cut that back because the mower can't quite get it. So definitely a lot of work to do over the next few days, but I'm pretty sure we'll get it done. I'm the sort of person who will just dig my heels in until that job's finished. But apart from that wind, we've got sun as well. So it's going to be an annoying, warm job to get done. But I'm not getting anything done sitting here. It's also especially important that we get it looking really nice and tidy over the next couple of days because we've got bands on over the weekend. So we've got two days of live music and people coming down to stay on site. So it looks like today is going to be a long day and I'm not whinging about things as somebody did put in comments. I'm just showing you what's happening on this site as we go and do different things. So it's more of following what we're doing inside and outside that caravan and of course any problems that come along and how we solve them. So if you're interested in caravan life, 
and want to see more videos in future, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and enjoy your weekend. You all take care.